welcome back to my channel and today we are going to start with a new chapter chapter number three that is animals okay in animals we are going to study about birds okay so birds are belongs to animal category okay again in a birds what and all we are going to study so body parts of the birds and how do they fly and food habits of a birds and nests of a birds and the last one is bird bath and a care of a bird okay now look at the picture look at the picture of some birds and identify and complete their names okay here is the first one is parrot okay here is a peacock here is a ostrich okay and the last one is here is a duck okay now let us start now do you like birds yes or no personally i like a birds why because they are very beautiful having a different different variety of colors okay now birds are the most beautiful animals found in the nature nature yes they are very beautiful and we see different different types of birds in our surrounding okay so what uh, what type of birds we can see in surrounding in a day to day life crow sparrow pigeon parrot hens are some birds that we can see very commonly and different different birds have a different different colors and their size okay now most of the birds cannot fly but only a few birds such as a penguin ostrich and emu cannot fly so almost uh, almost birds flies but only a few birds cannot fly they will just take a long like a long jump like they, like that much only they can take they cannot fly okay now see body parts of a bird so how animals and human beings having a different different body parts like a eyes neck head hand like so similarly in a birds also have a some body parts but they are different compared to us like us birds have also different body parts they have two eyes two wings a beak two legs and a tail okay and the body of the birds is covered with the feathers why it is covered with the feather actually feathers keep them warm okay now look at the picture see here is the beak so beak it will help for them to eat the food okay and eyes feathers feet and claws wings and a tail okay with the help of wing and tail they fly okay with the help of feet and claws they will um, they will stick on somewhere or they will hold the food like okay next now in feathers so first we will discuss about feathers okay so birds have a feathers of a different colors and sizes so as i said different different birds have a different colors and different in a sizes okay again in a bird feathers there are a three types um first one is body feathers down feathers and a flight feathers so body feathers covers birds body completely okay now down feathers are small here is uh, here here you can see the picture of body feathers okay so down feathers are small and soft and fluffy feathers you can see it is a soft and fluffy feathers compared to uh, other two feathers and keep them so what is the function of this bird it keeps the birds warm okay and the third one is flight feathers so as in the name it is only it is there it means this feathers helps them to fly and the flight feathers are long and help a birds to fly here it, it here it will be flight feathers here it will be present okay so with the help of flight feathers they fly so flight feathers are present on tail and wings okay now let us discuss about beaks so like us birds don't have a teeth so whatever they will eat the food they will eat the food with the help of beaks okay so according to the different different birds different different of birds they eat a different different types of a food so according to their foods beaks also have a different different beaks okay birds don't have a teeth they use their beaks to catch and eat a food okay with the help of a beak only they will catch the food and they will eat different birds have a different kinds of a beaks uh, beaks depending on the food they eat so which uh, depending on their food they have a different types of a beaks 
now birds such as birds such as sparrow pigeon and a peacock have a short and strong beaks you can see here it is having a short and a strong beaks so with the help of these beaks what they will do they will crush the seeds and they will eat the grains okay now we'll go to the next one water birds water birds means almost they will live on the water and almost their food will be depend uh, depend on the water uh, creatures like animals okay fish anything like okay so water birds such as duck goose have a broad and flat see here it is you can see here it is a broad and flat again with the tiny holes you can see here it is a tiny holes see now you can compare the both uh, uh, birds here see pigeon and peacock having a short and strong beak whereas the duck and goose having the flat and broad uh, beaks with the tiny holes on their uh, beaks okay but whereas in case of pigeon and peacock they, they don't have any be holes on their beaks okay as i said uh, depending on their food they have a different types of a beak so what is the help of this beak actually see these birds they will catch the food i mean they will catch the fishes and all under the water so along with when they will catch the fishes along with the fish the water also comes in their beak so this excess amount of water it will comes out from this tiny hole okay okay beaks with the tiny holes on either side to filter out excess water so excess water it comes out from that holes okay now next one is birds such as eagle vulture and hawk have the strong and sharp and hooked beak to tear flesh they eat see again these birds have they eat the flesh uh, flesh they eat the flesh see flesh means um, actually it is found between the skin and bones in an animals and it is a soft substance actually it is consist of a muscles and fat okay and see it is having the shape of hooked can you see it is having the shape of hook so with the with the help of that what they will do they will tear the flesh and they eat the food because they don't have a hands like us so with the help of these beaks only uh, it will tear they will tear the food and they eat the flesh okay next next one is sunbirds and hummingbirds have a long and pointed see again it is having a long and it is very pointed beaks to suck the nectar from the flowers uh, nectar means um, amrut i mean it, it's like a sugary fluid which is actually secreted within the flowers they will found it from the flowers it is the taste it is like a sugary fluid okay so with the help of this long and pointed beak they will suck the nectar from the flowers okay next parrot has a short and curved beak which helps them to crack open nuts and seeds now again this parrot has a completely like a curved shape the beak so with the help of that what it will do it will crack the crack and open the nuts and seeds now woodpecker has a strong and pointed and chisel shaped beak to make a holes see as in the name only it is says that the bird names it's a woodpecker means they will found their foods from the tree trunk tree trunk means uh, that um, stem of the tree it will be very strong so what they will do they will make a holes in the tree trunk and pull out the insects from the trunk of the tree okay next next one is kingfisher and cranes okay have a spear shaped beak that are designed for the fishing again they will eat the designed for the fishing okay i mean they will eat the fish from the okay uh, feet and claws about that we will study in the next video okay thank you